How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink from 3D Central here and today I'm going to show you how to make a completely programmable Cryptex with a USB flash drive hidden inside of it. This Cryptex has a completely programmable four digit passcode on it and once you type it in you can actually insert a USB flash drive into it and remove it once you get the password correct. It's a really fast and fun build. It only requires two external components, a flash drive and a keychain ring. It's really quick, it's really easy to build and I'm going to show you how to put it together. Let's do it. Each number has its own unique STL, so make sure you download the correct file for each number. All of the numbered rings and internal components were printed on an UP Mini using Hatchbox ABS filament. These are all the parts you need to assemble the Cryptex. These are the four number rings, this is the inside jacket, this is the cap cover, these are the two parts for the case, this is the USB drive, and here we have the ring that will attach to your keychain. So now we have everything printed and uh, complete, let's go ahead and remove the support. Now I've got my jar of acetone, a uh, small rag for dabbing the uh, paintbrush and all the parts. I'm just going to really quickly acetone uh, paint everything just to kind of make it look a little smoother. Great, all done. So now that you have the two USB case sides, you'll see there's a little divot in the center. And take the USB drive and you'll see that it clicks right in. Now it snaps right on top. And it feels like a pretty good fit, but we want to make sure that it stays on. So what we're actually going to do is lightly sand both sides. And now we're going to add a little bit of super glue. And this will make sure that the super glue has something to, to really grip to. And we're just going to put a little bit. We're just going to kind of attach some little drops of super glue kind of along the edges. And now we're going to put it on top and now it clicks on and now we want to apply some pressure to it and it dries pretty fast. Make sure those teeth are lined up. And once you've held down for a couple seconds, it'll be good to go. Once the glue is dry in the USB case, take the key ring and insert it through the hole and thread until it clicks on and now it's attached. Now it's time to set the combination of the Cryptex. I picked a really safe combination. One, two, three, four. The Cryptex goes from front to back, and this is where you're actually gonna put the lock on. This is where you're gonna put the last number, so you wanna slide that one on first. I picked four is mine. That's actually gonna slide on with the notch for the number going to where the divot is right here. Pinch the jacket and then slide it on. And now it should spin freely. And I repeat that. So now we have three and two, one. And this is the final piece, the cap. Cool, now the Cryptex is finished. So when the combination is set correctly, one, two, three, four, and it's lined up between this dot and then the gap here on the side, you can put the USB drive in and remove it pretty easily. And it just slides in and out. But if you change the combination, it doesn't budge. And it, it's in there, like, <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, but if you change the combination back to the correct code, it pops back out again. Great, now you know how to make the Cryptex. It's a fast and fun print, um, and you can put all kinds of like files, music, movies, even the STL files to make like another one of the Cryptexes on it. It's a really fun giveaway, like, uh, it's a great present. It's fun to give to like puzzle solvers if you know any. 
I'm including a link to the download in the description. Uh, it's designed by Freakazoid and was released on Thingiverse. I'm also including a link to our, we made a remix to include the case for the Kingston Traveler USB drive that we use. I use them just because they're like fast, they're easy to find, they're cheap, they're kind of universal. It's like, I think $8 or $9 for like a 32 gig drive. You can just find them anywhere. But I'm including a link to that in the description. If you print one of these things out, let me know how it works out for you and tell me if this video is helpful. Yeah, like this video, subscribe to this channel for more build videos. We do unboxing, we do demonstrations of printers. Yeah, thanks for watching.